the test, the Gambia government has now failed woefully. And we are all living testimonies to that. Obviously, if the Aya Gambianese government are saying that a defenseless old man of 65, 70 years old who is demanding the dead body of his supporter who you, the government, tortured to death. And you, the government, your primary duties and responsibilities under that constitution, you know, supreme laws of the Gambia is to protect those citizens. You fail woefully to protect those citizens. You tortured and then killed one of the supporters. Obviously. <laughs> just in you, you to appreciate what kind of a man lawyer Dabo is. He said before he left his house, he said, obviously, every responsible father matters not whether your son has offended outside or your son or your family member has been offended. When he's in trouble, you just don't say, oh, I told him not to do it. You abandon him. They are the right thing to do. For every parent, responsible parent, is to go and get your child. Much more, if it is clear to you that your child is the victim, it is your solemn duty to go and at least the least you could do is to demand for his release dead or alive and this is what he has done exactly before he went out before he went out he made it abundantly clear to the Gambian people to his supporters anybody who is following me must abide by these simple principles. That is principle of peace and justice. No insults, no vandalism, no violence. All what we are doing, we go out with a Gambian flag, demand solo standing, dead or alive. Exactly that's what we did. Obviously, he's been arrested. He did not resist arrest. His executive entirely have been arrested. They did not you know, resist arrest. But obviously, during the course of the arrest, we all know he sustained injuries as a result of the heavy handedness of the IAS government security service. <laughs> On top of that, shamefully, the Gambia government admitted, after so much international pressure, that indeed, Solon Sandem they have died under their custody. Obviously, that should have been the end of everything. The tables, that, that boy, the tables should have turned around. Instead, they should come to us and apologize and then compensate and then accept. Those of the people who are responsible to be tried in a court of law according to the laws of the Gambia.